to go to his jump hook in transition. Yeah, on the other end. Defense away from the ball. The best I've seen on Shaquille since the days of Akeem Olajuwon. Preparation, knees flex. Attempt three, make two. He's calling for the ball. Somebody has to go right at Shaq if you're ever going to beat the Lakers. You can't men, run away from him. Two big men laid up the floor, mostly on the tape, with no interior defensive presence. Real basketball player, therefore. Yao Ming would be a fine basketball player. The skills that Akeem Olajuwon used against Shaq, that Moses Malone used against Kareem. Get him on the move, and then come back with a jump hook. I mean, Griffin came over to the block. Griffin's a good shot blocker as well. He's 11th in the league at 2.1 a game. Francis fires. And Hot shooting start for Houston. It's 11 field goal attempts to hit three. The presence of Yao Ming denied the big man. Francis off the Ming stream. A lot of smiles from Rudy T these days. Small on the scoreboard, but it's been erased by this 17-0 Laker run. Their set offense has become horrific. Oh, Francis the lob for Kelvin Cato. Early on, it was used, didn't work very well for Trent Lott, who used the same language. Francis tries the tricky dribble and tees up Mucci Nars. Rockets have moved it to two, and that's the comments that were brought up Trent Lott's name. Uncomfortable to each certain class, whether it's race or religion. We now are more cognizant as Francis is a three of the Asian population their rank. And they've been pushing that with the number of record international players. So that's the response from the league. Francis on the take, makes it a two-point game. Houston's come back very nicely after Steve Francis, 16 minutes, a dozen points. You've seen an 11-point lead sliced to two. Aldridge, our ESPN colleagues, uh, it was they said it was like a conference finals feel to the media situation in pregame. Francis steals, stops, and shoots three to give the Rockets the lead. The only person who has had. When the other guys shoot and Shaq's on the weak side, then Yao Ming should get those rebounds. Terrible pass. Mobley left free. Don't want to do that with Pacino, a very good three-point shooter. 49 to 48. So Brian, after that uh, drought of field goals, comes back. Steve Francis. Bryant stops Francis. They go one-on-one -on -one here. Would be the starting oh. all-star backcourt in the West. Francis, a circus hooper foul! What a play by Stevie. Just that schoolyard right there. It's you can't stop me. I'm going to get to the hoop. Shaq reaches in and grabs him. And you want to know how strong Steve Francis is? That was Shaq that grabbed him and he yep. went through and scored it. But this is another reason why Yao Ming and the Houston Rockets have a chance against Los Angeles is because Shaq has to stay at home against Yao Ming. If he's out there against Kelvin Cade, point, the Rockets have to be incredibly encouraged. The lob for Yao, Fisher deterred him from jumping, Francis rips forward on a three. That was the passing we were talking about right there. Had the when Yao Ming was growing up, yes. and Amai was telling me that at the time when Yao Ming was growing up, everyone in China wanted to be like Akeem Olajuwon. Robert Ory is the best post feeder in the NBA. Ryan had it knocked away from behind by Francis into the hands of Mobley. The game loses a bit when Shaq and Yao Ming go to the bank. Nice pass. Oh, great pass. Francis, suppose he's Steve Francis continues to add to his excellent struggle from the field for Kobe, atypical of what he's been doing. Talented, explosive, and great Steve Francis is stamina this season is he's changed his diet he's given up fried chicken cheeseburgers french fries all what he calls all the teenage food he's, he says it's been great for him the dizzy spells and i'm gonna keep this guy off the glass <laughs> if i'm yao ming i just walk up and substitute myself right now this game is in the balance francis over fisher continuing this terrific night now 31 for the guy who used to be called stevie franchise right now 25 minutes against Shaq. And Defensive presence has uh, hurt O'Neal's numbers just slightly. Shaq's uh, close to on pace for average. Eight is offense as well. Eight points this quarter, Billy. At 10 in the fourth against New Orleans. Nice attack as Ming finishes. That was all caused by Francis driving and drawing the defense from O'Neal. Shot selection. Francis all the way around O'Neal to square the game at 89.
touched or not. Well, it's certainly been about the guards late in the game, and Steve Francis right here Coming gets right a pick from Yao Ming and gets down the middle. He can't even get the ball in bounds. Yao comes out to get it, try to set some room for Francis for three of the tie. <laughs> the same shot they used against Miami. At first, Phil said no timeout. Then the timeout was taken, I believe, after the inbounds. Runs this exact same play, the handoff. We do see that Yao Ming can set an effective screen. Well, you can't go under in that situation. Garrett Fisher's right. And how many times have we seen that one? Right there, right, huh? Praise the Lord. Garrett Fisher. He just taking it all the way in. Shaq not set, draws a foul. Steve Francis, point 39 equals the career high that he said bounce on opening night of this 2002-2003 NBA season. And I agree with you, Bill, that for the most part, they need other people to step up. Did you see him in a 2-2? That's what I think oh, of my. when I think of Shaq. <laughs> oh, 10 rebounds, he still has 8 points. Shaq was up against the shot clock. Another nightmare possession for Rudy Tonkett. Mobley is stroking the three. <laughs> Kobe Tennant, we're coming at you. And we're not going away. A career night here for Steve Francis. 42 points. It's not a flagrant foul. That's not a flagrant foul. First the technical. Two-point lead. Well, that was just a joke. To have a team fight that hard and be in such a good and look at the result of the play and call a flagrant foul. You look at the play itself, and Shaq clearly made an attempt at the ball. There, his benefit. Ori, a three. Shaq kept it alive. Lakers showing some heart. Take it away by Francis. Pull it out. It goes all the way, and has it blocked by Ori. Should have pulled that one back. The time. Eight to go. Francis gets around there Bryant. A Ming screen. Good step up by Shaq. Right. Deterred the shot. Now he gets a Bryant foul. Oh, thank God. wanted a double dribble call. The Lakers take in pretty good style this year. They keep playing like this. They're going to need a lot bigger building than this. For the first 53 pass. minutes, for the first 53 minutes, Steve Francis was doing it, scoring. Right here, Kobe up in the air. Jack, nowhere to be found. Finds Yao Ming. He's a big target, but you got to put it on the money, and he did. Steve Francis with one of the best individual games in the league this year by any player. 44 points, 11 assists, at 11th to Yao Ming. And an immediate three. Go into Shaq, kept it back to Shaw. Bryant the three. No good, and the Rockets will do it. A huge win for the Houston Rockets in the first meeting between Yao Ming and Shaquille O'Neal. The Rockets have won eight of their last ten. They stopped the Lakers' five-game win streak. Shaq and Yao with a post-game greeting. Steve Francis, the hero tonight. He had 44 points. A career high.